Welcome back to Starting Blocks on Cleveland.com. I'm Branson Wright. This is the Shaq Diesel. We're going to talk about the best centers of all time. Since uh, we have a little time constraints, we're going to go with five. We're going to start off with your favorite. Well, I'm sure he's your favorite, The Dream. Yeah, The Dream was my favorite because personal reasons. And the reason was he was a guy that I couldn't break. You know, uh, all, all, all the other great centers, I was able to get into their heads a little bit. And that was just my way of, of trying to compete. You know, every, every young guy that comes up, you know, always put, it in, always put it in basic karate movie format. You know, you got the old guy in the white beard, which is me now. But you got the old guy in the white beard. Shaq but, Fu. Yeah, Shaq Fu. But then you got the young guy that's coming up. So in order for you to be the master, you have to beat the master. So, I mean, I always knew these Patrick Ewan and Akeem and, and Chief, and always knew these guys were 100 times better than me, but I didn't want them to know that. And then I wanted their spot. So, you know, I wanted their spot. So the five best things, I'm, I'm glad you, you had, I had to write them down. Akeem to me is, is number one. But why couldn't you break him? Because I couldn't get into his head. I remember one time I gave him a bow, and he just laughed. <laughs> nice, nice, nice elbow, brother. And then he came out and gave me a <laughs> and, and shot a crazy fadeaway. Yeah, he gave me one of them. So the next time I, I, I came down, I dunked on him, and I looked at him in, like, okay, good one. And he just came out, you shoot. And he gave it to me again. So he was, he was my favorite. The second one is, is Wilt Chamberlain. He's a father of, of, of dominant basketball. And I can remember growing up, didn't have a lot of TV, never really knew who these guys were, but my father always, I want you to be, I want you to be mean in there like Wilt. Every time you get it, dunk it. I want you to be able to play defense and block shots like Bill. I want you to be smooth and finesse like Kareem. So I'm, I'm like asking my dad, I'm like, who the hell is he talking about? No, seriously, he used to say these names all the time. I was a little baby, do this, do it. So like when I got up, I'm like, who's he talking about? And then like he used to take him to a couple of Nick games and I would see, and I'd be like, damn, these dudes are big. But then as I, you know, start developing and, you know, start creating Shaq at the house, and I, I have all these guys instilled in me. Why do Third, people compare you a lot to Will? Because he was dominant, and, you know, they changed the rules for him. You know, they complained about him a lot. You know, he was Goliath, and they just, so I'm, I'm, like, the, I'm like the last coming of Will. Because after me, there will be no more. You realize that, right? No, I'm after sure. me, I'm no, sure. I'm telling you. Don't, don't be oh, not sure. I'm this third no, grader in no, Minnesota. Well, well, you know what? When I see him, I'll be the first one to say, you know what, welcome my son, welcome my son. The third one is Kareem. You know, Kareem, uh, 38,000 points. You know, right now I'm at like, you know, 27, and like I always brag to my son, man, I got 27,000, because you know my son was like, you can't even shoot. And I was like, son, I don't need to shoot, I got 27,000. So one day my, my son's working the internet now, he said, but daddy, Kareem got 38,000. So I'll just tell you, how great of a player he was! Five championships, nice guy. Did you ever think about? I did. You know, when I was, you know, when I was little, I did think about that. But because I'm a, I'm a hip hop kid, I wanted to come with something more cool, and that's why I always went with the jump hook, rather than the little old school sky hook. Fourth one is, is Bill Russell. Wait, just because of the rings, or what other just, reason? Just, just, Bill? just because of the rings, mm -hmm. and just because he's 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 one of the nicest men in the world. Uh, believe it or not, I never really had, never really had any type of relationship with Mr. Chamberlain, rest in peace, mm -hmm. or Mr. Kareem, which is fine with me. Mm -hmm. But you know, Bill Russell was always nice to me. We used to sit down, we used to have Starbucks together, and he used to tell me old stories, stories I didn't know. Like I bet you a lot of people don't know that Sam Jones has ten rings. I didn't even know that. Like he used to tell me about you know times where they couldn't check and all, you know, stuff that stuff that I would never know. Didn't have a TV. Came up in the hip hop era. Mm -hmm. Anything after Dr. J, I'm a master. Anything before Dr. J, you know, yeah. someone has to tell me. So how would you have done against Russell? I would have held my own. But you know, it's kind of unfair to compare a phantom of his time against the phantom of this time, because if you look at all the phantoms of old times, we take what they master and they add a little new technology. So I'm just a new school, well, I'm an older school phantom now, but. Old school, new yeah, school. Yeah, yeah, I'm an old school, new school phantom, but you know, it's kind of hard to compare, but I think if we grew up in the same time, it would have been the same thing. Been fun though, right? Yeah, would have been fun. And the last one is Big Moses. 
strong, dominant, fo fo fo. <laughs> he was my guy. You know, he he lives in Houston. I live in Houston. We uh, he's just a great guy, and I respect these guys so much because they've paved the way for me. But uh, can't forget about Mr. David Robinson. Can't forget about Chief Robert Parrish. You can't forget about Jack Sigma. What is Robinson? You can't forget a. Is Robinson a center? Yeah, or he a was. Forward? No, he was. He was a center. What made him a center? He was tall. He's <laughs> seven it. foot and over. Yeah, seven foot over, and a very humble guy because. At a young age, when Tim Duncan came, he realized that Tim was a little better, and he said, Tim, I'm going to make you the man. Not a lot of guys do that at his age, but he's, you know, it's that Navy discipline. He realized that, hey, I'm going to ride this, this new young horse we got by the name of Mr. Duncan, and it's going to get me three rings. Since you're probably the last of the Mohicans or the Shaqicans, is does that concern you? Nobody's coming up? Not really. You know, the game is, the game is uh, different now, and a lot of guys rather... Uh, step out and shoot the jumpers. Now, one thing I, I, I tried to do when I, when I came in was I wanted to be different. You know, my dad, you know, growing up, I realized that I, I was a little bit different, but, but I didn't like being different. And he would tell me, you know what? One day, you're gonna be recognized, your name will be remembered because you are different. So master being different. Don't be like everybody else, master being different. And, and, and it kind of made sense. You know, I have, I have, I have great parents, you know, they stayed on me, glad they stayed on me. And, you know, a lot of things you, you see me do, it's not by me. You know, like with the, you know, things I'm doing with the little babies that's, that's passed away, that's not me. That's all my mama. God fear a woman, goes to church every Sunday and Monday. You know, she works at a church, she runs a church, that, that's her, you know. Like I told you in any other interview, she told me, said, you know what, you've been blessed, but now is the time of your life you should at least do one good thing a day. Whether it's say something to inspire somebody or just do something good a day. So, you know, I'm just thankful that I have great parents.